in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit in the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit sisters and brothers most welcome this mass is being offered for mirna watson friends this is the 15th sunday in the ordinary time as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries now let us call to mind our sins and ask for god's mercy and forgiveness I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. let us pray o god who show the light of your truth to those who go astray so that they may return to the right path give all who for the faith they profess are accounted christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of christ and to strive after all that deceit honor through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen
A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, said to Amos, O seer, go flee away to the land of Judah. Earn your bread there and prophesy there. But never again prophesy at Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary, and it is a temple of the kingdom. Then Amos answered Amaziah, I am no prophet, nor prophet's son, but I am a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees. And the Lord took me from following the flock. And the Lord said to me, Go prophesy to my people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet. Righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, and righteousness will look down from the sky. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him, and he will make a path for his steps. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world, to be holy and blameless before him in love. He destined us for adoption to sonship as his own through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In Christ we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, God has made known to us the mystery of his will according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things in Christ, things in heaven and things on earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus called the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and to put on two tunics. Jesus said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, 
As you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So the twelve went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's readings remind us of our divine adoption as God's children and of our call to preach the good news of Jesus by bearing witness to God's love, mercy, and salvation as revealed through Jesus. God chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. We heard from the letter to Ephesians. The first reading warns us that our witnessing mission will be rejected as it happened to the Old Testament prophets like Amos. Amos defended his prophetic role with courage, clarifying that it was not his choice, but his God's choice to elevate him from a shepherd and tree dresser to a prophet. Like Amos, we are chosen by God through the mystery of divine adoption in Jesus to become missionaries and to preach the good news mainly by Christian witnessing. In the second letter, St. Paul explains the blessings that, he have, that we have received through our baptism and the responsibility we had to become missionaries. Then Paul reveals the divine secret that it is God's eternal plan to extend salvation through Jesus to all mankind, first to the Jews and then to Gentiles. Hence, the Jewish and the Gentile Christians need to love, help and respect one another and thus proclaim Jesus, giving true witness by their lives. In today's Gospel, the evangelist tells the story of Jesus' commissioning of the twelve apostles to preach the good news of repentance, forgiveness of sins, liberation and salvation through Jesus. Just as God sent the prophet Amos to preach repentance to ancient Israel, and the Saint Paul to preach the good news of salvation to the Gentiles. So Jesus sends forth his followers to proclaim the good news of God's kingdom and to bring healing to those who need it. Friends, now we come to the message of the day. We are called to be witnessing disciples and evangelizing apostles. As witnessing disciples, we need to follow Jesus, imitate him, reflect him, and radiate him. As apostles, we need to evangelize the world by sharing with others our experience of God and his Son. Jesus proclaiming the gospel and the salvation promised by Jesus through our transparent Christian lives.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His solution, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and He is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My sisters and brothers, knowing that God's love is without conditions or boundaries, let us pray with the confidence for the mission of the Church, the healing of broken hearts, and the salvation of all people. For the Church sent into the world to proclaim Christ's good news, for the speedy recovery of Pope Francis after his recent surgery, and for all missionaries, prophets, and disciples of Jesus who lived the gospel message, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Mary Simon, our newly appointed Governor General, for the ongoing healing and reconciliation with the First Nation peoples, and for mutual respect for the dignity of all citizens and immigrants, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the greater attention to the concerns and pastoral care of the Indigenous peoples within Canada and for a recognition for their rich heritage, culture, and spirituality, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those suffering from extreme heat, droughts, or forest fires, for an end to violence throughout the whole world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the sick, suffering and homebound, especially Philip Pericol and Connie Dijon Wall, and for those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all parishioners and visitors, for those who have died recently, especially Veronica Fuchs, mother of Father James Fuchs, Elizabeth Brunt, Maria Dijon Monette, Kitty Patno, Carol Riche, and for all who mourn for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our benefactors and volunteers, and for Myrna Watson, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Friends, now let us lift up our hearts in prayer and place our own personal intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of justice and salvation, hear our prayers and grant that the work we do and the message we carry is always yours. As you send us forth to proclaim the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Praise, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that is your mercy. In your mercy you send us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of you, and by sinning we are lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the pond of all holiness, make you holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and ended willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, 
we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to fullness of charity together with francis our pope michael our bishop and all the clergy remember your servant murna watson whom you have called from this world to yourself grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in her resurrection remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them in the light of your face our mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god the blessed joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles saint cecilia and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who seated the apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. My sisters and brothers, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that he should enter under my roof. What will he say the word? My soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by your participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, now we pray together. Heavenly Father, in these trying days, we humbly seek your guidance, wisdom, protection and help in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. That you would grant speedy recovery to those inflicted with the virus and protection to those who have not come into contact with it. We admit to you, O oh Lord, that you are the only authority and power to see us through this situation. For we are mere mortal people totally reliant on you and you alone. As your son Jesus taught us, look to your heavenly Father above for all things and it will be granted unto you. So merciful Father, we trust in you and the words of your dear son Jesus to look after us in this day and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May He send it, go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.